the wait event. It's an event that lets you wait for a specific amount of time just by inputting a certain amount of frames for whatever reason. Except, uh-oh, look at this. <laughs> oh, wait. Why am I not hitting the 9 button? Okay, there we go. I'm hitting the 9 button now, but I, I can't go any higher. The limit is 999 frames for waiting. I don't know. It's cool. I have a plugin. And that plugin is a wait options plugin. A plugin that gives you more options for your waiting within your events. To start off, you now have limitless amounts of choices for waiting. So let's go to our plugin command. Let's do wait 9999999 frames, just like this. And this will make it so now the interpreter waits for 9,000, uh, uh, that's a lot of nines. I think it's 99,999,999 frames that this will wait for, because that's what the plugin command does. Alternatively, you can also use seconds. And this will make it wait a specific amount of seconds. So you can do wait five seconds, and that'll make it wait five seconds, as opposed to having you like calculate how many seconds are in frames or in what just just here it is. Wait five seconds. Also, you can do minutes. So for example, minutes, just like this. So you do wait one minutes, and it'll wait one minute before things go on and continue. So yeah, that's all there is to it. So let's make it so we're gonna wait for nine 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 minutes just to see if it works. All right, so let's start our wait, and uh, hopefully it doesn't take too long. Six and a half hours later. Oh, 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 it's finally over. All right, cool, so it worked, as far as you're concerned. But that's not all this plugin can do. Let's take a look at this rock right here. The goal of this rock is quite simple. We want to play an animation on it. We want to wait for a certain amount of frames, then make this rock disappear, just like this. Then we'll wait for the animation to end, and then the, we'll say the rock is broken, and then the rock will be control switched aid on, which will turn it on to nothing. But here's the thing. You can understand, you can make like a certain amount of frames make it disappear at the exact moment the animation like hits it. But then how do you figure out how many frames do it exactly right? In other words, how do we make it so that when we do this animation, the dialogue does not appear until the animation ends? One thing we could do is just calculate the amount of frames there is and just do something like 30 frames and hope that that's the correct amount of frames that the animation will take to end. Alternatively, we could do the plugin command wait for animation by going to our plugin commands right here and doing wait for animation. And this is a plugin command added through the plugin that makes it so when the interpreter of this event gets to this point, it waits for the animations of everything to complete before continuing onward. So now, as you can see, when we interact with this rock, it'll disappear at the exact right moment and the dialogue will not start until the animation that was attacking the rock ends. So as you can see, using this specific plugin command, you can make it so that in various situations such as this, the player or the cutscene or the event waits for an animation to complete before continuing. There are various other forms of these plugin commands throughout this plugin, so let's go check them all out. The first is wait for route, which waits for all movement routes to complete. Wait for animation, which as we just saw, waits for all animations to complete before continuing. Wait for balloon, which waits for a balloon animation to complete before continuing. Wait for message, which waits for all show messages to complete. So say for example you're using a parallel event, and you want that parallel event to not move or do anything until you're done with your dialogue in a different event. Then you can use wait for message to make it wait for that message to complete. Wait for transfer, waits for all map transfers to complete. Wait for scroll, waits for all scrolling to complete. Wait for gather, wait for all of your followers to gather together after using a follower gather event thingy. Wait for action, wait for a specific battle action to complete, so you can use this in battle eventing. Wait for video, wait for all videos to complete playing. And wait for image, wait for all images that are currently being used to load. Finally, you can use a plugin command cancel wait to cancel all of your waiting setup. Now the final and most powerful plugin command in this plugin is the ability to wait for a specific JavaScript condition. So say for example we go into our plugin commands, we do wait for condition, just like this, so condition, then after this input a JavaScript condition. Say for example we can do game switches dot value of switch ID 1, and if this is equal to true, so equals equals true, then this condition will be true. So what's gonna happen is, this little guy right here is gonna run maybe five steps to the right. Then he's gonna wait for game switch 1 to be true. And when it is true, he'll do another five steps right. It's gonna be that simple. And we'll also make it so, when we interact with this computer right here, it'll turn switch 1 to on. So now as you can see, in the parallel process of this event, it's gonna move five steps to the right. But then it's gonna stop and wait for switch 1 to be turned on. So let's go down here, turn switch 1 on just like that. And when we do so, it'll start taking the rest of its steps forward. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Pretty simple, right? Using this customized wait for condition, you can sync up multiple events together, make it so they're all waiting for a specific switch or variable. And when that switch or variable is, 
it's turned on, then they all start moving or doing what they need to do. So, for example, if you're making complex cutscenes, you need to wait for a specific stuff, or perhaps you just create some random puzzle, like you have spikes, and you want to make it so the spikes don't move down until a switch is turned on, you can do that using this plugin right here. But besides that, that's all for this video. You can find this plugin linked in the description of this video, near the like button where you should click to give this video a like, and also comment below, because comments are good. And they, they comment. Anyway, since this is a wait plugin, I'm gonna do what this plugin does best and wait. And wait. And wait for you to leave a comment. I'm serious. Leave a comment or. Uh. <laughs> um. Uh. Well, I, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait for an eternity. Like, no joke, I'm gonna make this video go on for at least 10 hours. Whatever YouTube's maximum wait time mid thing is, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it. So I'm gonna keep waiting and waiting. Of course, if you do leave a comment, feel free to just uh, exit out of the video and then just not have to wait. But I'm going to wait here forever and ever. Oh, but I mean, uh, I don't know. You left a com I can't even tell if you left a comment because this is a pre-recorded video. In fact, now that I think about it, multiple people are going to be watching this video. Some may leave a comment, some may not. So, uh, I don't, I don't know. What, what do I do? Uh, okay. So, uh, here's what's going to happen. Pause the video and just like don't unpause it till you leave a comment. And if you just don't care about what happens next, then uh, then uh, um, I guess just leave the video. But anyway, I guess you can never see what happens next till you leave a comment. Or if you break the rule, please don't break the rule. I don't want. To, okay, well um, pause the video now. You didn't pause the video, did you? Okay. Well, uh, until next time.